This is a faithful saying, and worthy of all acceptation, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. Hello, how are you today? Of all the religious leaders in Jerusalem who wanted to stop the name of the Lord Jesus being preached, Saul of Tarsus was probably the fiercest. He was a proud religious Pharisee. He knew God's law from the Old Testament part of the Bible, and he thought that he could keep it all and do what needed to be done to make himself good enough for God. And when he heard the Christians preaching that none of us are good enough for God, that we're all sinners who, who need to repent, who need to trust in the Lord Jesus to take away our sins and give to us new life, that we need to be converted, while well, Saul of Tarsus was angry. He wanted to make them stop preaching in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Stephen was killed for preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus, Saul of Tarsus was there, agreeing that he should die. He watched the coats of the men who threw the stones at him to kill him. When Philip and, and lots of other Christians had to leave Jerusalem, it was because Saul of Tarsus and others with him were raiding houses, arresting men and women who called on the name of the Lord Jesus, taking them to prison. And Saul would try and make them stop believing on the Lord Jesus, try and make them say wrong things about the Lord Jesus. He was angry and he thought that he ought to do everything he could against the name of the Lord Jesus. And he wasn't satisfied with persecuting the Christians there in Jerusalem. He wanted to go to other places too, wherever he could find Christians, to make them stop speaking about the Lord Jesus. He went to the chief priests and he said to them, give me some letters of authority so that I can go to Damascus and go to the synagogue there and see if I can find any followers of this way, the way of the Lord Jesus. And if I can find them, I'll arrest them and I'll bring them back in chains to Jerusalem so that we can put them in prison or kill them. Well, the chief priests, they were pleased to give him the letters and they gave him the authority and Saul set off on his journey to Damascus. As he was travelling to Damascus, in the middle of the day, at the hottest and brightest part of the day, all of a sudden a blinding light shone all around him and it knocked him to the ground. He fell on the floor and he looked but he couldn't see anything and he heard a voice and the voice said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul said, Who are you, Lord? And the answer was, I am Jesus who you are persecuting. Well, Saul was terrified and amazed. He said, Lord, what, what do you want me to do? And the Lord Jesus said to him, Get up, go into the city, and you'll be told what you must do. And when Saul stood up, he found he couldn't see at all. He was completely blind. And the men that were travelling with him, they came and they had to lead him by the arm. And they brought him into Damascus and they brought him to a, a street called Straight Street. And there was a man called Judas who lived there and they brought him to his house so that he could stay there for a while. And Saul of Tarsus went into that house and he sat and he wouldn't eat and he wouldn't drink for three days. And after three days, he began to pray. Now, in Damascus, there was a Christian whose name was Ananias. And God spoke to him. God said, Ananias, go to Straight Street, go to Judas's house, and ask for a man called Saul of Tarsus. Ananias said, Lord, I've heard of him. I've heard of all the wicked things that he has done to your people in Jerusalem. And that's why he's come here. 
<laughs> but the Lord said, Ananias, he is going to be a great servant of mine. He's going to take my name out to all the people in all the world. He's going to speak before kings about me. And Ananias went to Straight Street, to Judas's house, and he came in. And there was Saul, blind, and not eating, and not drinking, but praying. Ananias came, he put his arm, his hand on his shoulder, and he said to him, Brother Saul, the Lord, Jesus, who appeared to you as you were coming here, he has sent me to you. And now, get up. And, and trust in the Lord Jesus to forgive you and to save you and be baptized in his name. And Saul did. And Saul went to the synagogue in Damascus. And when he was there, he began to teach the people that Jesus is Christ, that he is the son of God. And Saul changed his name, not just his life. His name was changed he changed his name to Paul. And Paul, well, he preached to many, many people all over Asia and Europe. And many of the books that we have in our Bible were written by Paul to Christians who he told about the Lord Jesus. And one of the books that he wrote that's in our Bible was a letter that he wrote to a young friend of his called Timothy. And this is what Paul says to Timothy. Timothy, this is a faithful saying. It should be trusted and accepted by everybody that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. And Timothy, I'm the chief of sinners. But the Lord Jesus has showed mercy to me. And do you know why? Because if the Lord Jesus can save me, then he can save anybody. If the Lord Jesus is willing to forgive me, then the Lord Jesus is willing to forgive everyone who calls on his name. The Lord Jesus is able to save you. And the Lord Jesus is willing to save you. And if you will trust in him who came into the world and died for you, then he will save you. Thank you for listening again. And God bless you.